In this episode, I'm going rogue. Hi, I'm Steve, and for as long as I can remember, I wanted to be somebody. I grew up in a small town and went to school in the valley. Now I'm in the big city, working at a fast-paced company, run by a guy you might know. Here I learned that while we all dream of success, what really matters is the journey. This is my story. Hey everyone, and welcome to The Ascent, episode 11. I'm your host, Steve Campbell. Figured I'd try my hand at holding the camera this time around. Promise it has nothing to do with me leaving my tripod at home. I just wanted to get a quick video out to really just lay down a premise of, you know, a thought that I had recently, which was, there's never gonna be a better time. It's something I deal with on a daily basis around here, and I know that the rest of you do as well, which is, you procrastinate, and it's not always your fault. You're just kind of, you know, prioritizing what you need to do each day and what you need to do each week. And then the little asks, like the littlest things that probably would take the least amount of time if you actually dedicated some energy to them, keep getting pushed back because you just don't have enough time to get it done and you keep telling yourself at the end, of, like I'll do it later in the day and then later in the day comes and something else took its place that's more important and then next thing you know you're doing it the next day and next thing you know it's been a week and then a month and then after that you know you've pretty much forgotten about it until someone asks you where it is and you're just like oh man I didn't even start that yet but you had a week to do it it's the kind of thing that I try to hold myself accountable to and say to myself listen there's never gonna be a better time so you know you're always gonna be busy especially when you're trying to do more and more each day and each week you just take on more projects you do more things you you know life happens like you know your friends come around and visit and you get a girlfriend and you are doing all these things like there's just never gonna be a better time most of the time you know I try to treat everything that way and then I think that helps me a little bit just hone in and and, and focus on my complete task list and get as much done as I physically and mentally can in a given day and you know I think you feel a lot better like you feel a lot more accomplished because you you don't realize until you start thinking that way that you have pockets of time throughout a day that you're otherwise wasting or you know taking breaks and things like that breaks are okay you need you need a mental break every once in a while especially if you're working really hard and you know you're in a creative space like I am and you know it helps to have a clear mind but I think um, you know that what I'm realizing is that when I start to prioritize these little things and that I'm, I'm finding that I'm dedicating more of my day to my job so I'm spending a little bit less time chit-chatting or you know going for walks or you know uh, if I walk around the office and I stop and talk to someone you know I'm a little bit more in a hurry I, I, I quit with the pleasantries and I get right down to business I think that's something that I picked up along the way here the more and more senior people that you meet and the more people that are in managerial roles especially the more you're gonna see that you know they're the, the types of people who are all business all the time I'm someone who likes to be an outgoing and friendly guy and I like to talk to everyone in the office and I could spend all day doing that really to be honest with you but it's just not efficient as far as what I'm trying to do day to day so um, you know I, I think I try to adopt that mentality during the week and I'm seeing it play out in my home life as well I keep a to-do list in my phone at all times I think a lot of people probably do but like most people I probably spend more time dropping things in there and making new line items than actually crossing things off so I think it's important to, you know, again, prioritize the things that are important to you and get, get those out of the way first, but don't put off the things that you know that you're just gonna keep putting off and putting off, like find a way to get them done. So practice self-awareness, realize that you know that you're not gonna get something done unless you really hunker down and focus and get after it and just do it. I think, I think you'll uh, start to see some results like I am. That's it, we're keeping it short and sweet today, baby. I forgot my tripod, my arm's starting to get tired. Catch you soon.